Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a spooky box club unboxing. I haven't done one of these for a little while so that's what today's video is going to be. So if you like the sound of that do keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will get straight into the video now. I actually ordered this on the 15th of October and this is kind of their more autumn kind of box and yeah as most people know spooky box club does take quite a few months to arrive when you like subscribe or pre-order so this box cost me 26 pounds 50 and that's with shipping this is the box itself and i'll go on to like the coloring of it in a moment but i did order this on the 15th of october and it arrived on the 18th of february so in total it took about four months just like a couple days over that so that's still a very long waiting time but compared to the last box which i bought which took seven months <laughs> to arrive this is an improvement i think they are starting to catch up a little bit but still four months is quite a long waiting time i didn't subscribe to them i just pre-ordered this box because i really really liked the theme of it and i have high hopes <laughs> so i'm really hoping this is a good box but before i get into it i will just let you know that the cost of the box has actually gone up so i got an email in november saying that from the 1st of december the box will go up to 31 pounds 50 which is quite a significant jump so it's gone up about five pounds i think so it was 26.50 and now it's 31 pounds 50 so definitely getting more on the pricier side because it was cheaper than £26.50 before, but I think it went up by a few pounds, like £3. So it's definitely going up, but I suppose lots of things go up in terms of manufacturing and all of that. So I paid £26.50, but any subscription or pre-order after the 1st of December will now be £31.50, um, and that includes shipping. So yeah that's all the information about this box um the theme for this was called autumn night spooky and cozy and if it just said autumn nights i would have been like yes and especially as it said spooky and cozy because those are like my two favorite things i did dig out this autumn top to actually <laughs> unbox this um but the sticker says spooky and cozy nights box 70 and the sticker is very cute so that's what the sticker looks like there and as you can tell this box is not their usual colouring so I do watch other people's unboxings even if I don't get the box because I am curious to see what's inside and their boxes are usually purple with I believe a lighter purple like bats and stars and all of that but this box is brown with this kind of orange detailing so it does say it's spooky box club there in orange with the bats and then more bats i don't think they're changing the colors of their box i think it's just because it's the autumn box and i love that this matches like the autumn aesthetic so <laughs> yeah i will stop talking now and actually get into it i haven't seen any spoilers for this okay so that's what the box oh my gosh is that blanket that definitely looks like some kind of fabric thing and it's got bats on okay so i definitely can see the first thing which is this huge fabric thing i'm gonna say this is a blanket um because it is called the spooky and cozy box that would make sense but i'm surprised they got something of this size in a box <laughs> so i will open this up yeah, I definitely think this is a blanket. This is really, really cool. I don't think they've ever done a blanket. I think they've done a towel before, but not actually a blanket. So far, so good with this box. <laughs> it is quite a large blanket. As you can see, it's mainly grey, and then it's got all these bats on with kind of stars and dots. And then the inside is this really kind of fluffy white material. Hopefully you can like see how fluffy this is that is a really nice item so yeah this is the first one really pleased with that it does say it's spooky box club so you, you can see it's designed by them and everything so it does have that label there i'd say the only thing is you can kind of see the texture of it even though it is quite soft so if i hold it up you can kind of see all these like marks on it 
still think it's really fluffy and i do think it's a really nice blanket but overall i do think this is really nice and if i was watching someone's unboxing and i saw this i would be so jealous <laughs> so i'm really glad i mean this would probably cost you about 15 pounds alone so this is definitely i'm guessing the main item of the box so so far really happy <laughs> so that is the first item that definitely took up the majority of the box i can see there's some kind of they kind of look like gift tags <laughs> these are bookmarks these are really really pretty one in gold and one in silver so these are actually the same design but they're just in different colors so this is the first one which is in gold and it says reading past my bedtime and then it's got this kind of graveyard scene with a skull and it's kind of metallic. And you can see what I mean by it kind of looks like a gift tag because it's got this ribbon here and it is cut in the shape of a coffin. And then this is the second one in silver. And they both say spooky box coat on the back. I definitely prefer the silver one. I think this one's really pretty. Gold just isn't really my kind of thing. So I will definitely be keeping this. I think it's really nice. I can see the lollipop. So they have gone back to doing these lollipops instead of like the random sweets. I don't really mind either way. But I'm not sure the flavour of this. But it's kind of like pink and orange. So that's the sweet item that you always get. So this is the next item oh okay so this is kind of like a recipe kind of thing so it says follow this simple recipe for a super delicious ready in a minute chocolatey mug cake that sounds really good um it says cozy haunted mug cake recipe and grave digger shovel spoon and then inside there's this piece of like card which is their design and then on the back it has the recipe for how to make a mug cake so that's really cute this is kind of like a diy thing but it's a recipe and then along with this you get this <laughs> shovel spoon i will just take this out that's kind of funny i haven't seen anything like this before so this is a shovel <laughs> as a spoon i do really like that i will say that it does have like a code on the back and it doesn't say spooky box club so i'm wondering if this was custom made by them or not um but i guess we'll see for the cheat sheet at the end inside it's got the ingredients so there's two lots of packets there's one in black and one in pink and i think these i think these are sprinkles because on the piece of paper here it says spooky strands haunted bone sprinkles and tombstones so i'm assuming that's what's in here and then it's got like the list of ingredients so you would have to kind of get the rest of the things yourself like the flour sugar milk so yeah that's the next item i definitely like this shovel spoon it's a bit different i haven't seen anything like that before i'll go on to the pin now this is very very cute so this is like a jammy dodger <laughs> but it's actually got a bat on it so <laughs> that's the design again something really unusual that i haven't seen so this is kind of the biscuit and then the jam is in the shape of a bat i really wish like the jammy dodger company did something like this for halloween that would be really cool but it does say jammy bat biscuit curious collectible pin and then the back of it is actually a heart which is cute too now normally as i said i'm not into gold really normally i don't think i would have kept this but i think it's really like fun and unusual and i really like the red in it so i actually think i will be keeping this just because i think it's really fun i do like this pin so yeah that is the pin in this box i'm really glad we got a pin because i really like the majority of spooky box clubs pins okay it looks like there's two more things in here so the first one is in this like purple organza bag and it looks like some socks these are purple and black socks with like moons and stars on i'd say the design is quite simplistic but i do like them i do like really like funky socks i'm actually wearing socks with pumpkins on today so i do definitely like my spooky socks so i think these will get some use so again like this item 
And the last item in here is one of these flag things. I always seem to get the boxes that have the mini flags because they did a like ghoul boss one that I keep in my pen pot um, that was in the a ghoul's work is never done. So this is like another version of that. So this is a little flag and it says solitary or solitary society. It does have a very cute ghost on and anything with a ghost on I'm just like yes. <laughs> and it comes with this stick. So you put that through the end of it and then you have a little flag. So it says being, living or going alone or without companions. <laughs> um, yeah okay <laughs> so i guess this is kind of a take on like the whole staying in and lockdown and all of that so that is quite clever um i do like this i do like all their mini flags i think i've got all of them so yeah this is the last item actually looking back on that i there's not an item that i don't like i'm quite pleased i'm really glad there was like no earrings or hair accessories or anything like that so the last thing in the box is this cheat sheet i was also a bit concerned there would be a mug in here i mean i'm not not complaining if there would be a mug in there but i also have zero room for mugs so i'm glad it was a blanket because that's a really nice different item so now we go on to the cheat sheet which is purple okay so the first one says custom made soft and cozy minky bat blanket that must be like the material of it of why it has this kind of texture to it so this is the first item in the box and that's definitely my favorite item i think that's a really nice item and if i paid 31 pounds 50 i wouldn't be like mad at this box because the blanket is huge <laughs> um so yeah that's the first one and that is custom made okay so the second one says purple moon and stars socks now these don't say they're custom made so this could be like one of the wholesale items i'm guessing um it doesn't say spooky box on them at all i do like these and i will keep them so yeah i think they fit the theme as well the third one says custom made jammy bat biscuit collectible gold enamel pin not usually something i'd keep because of the gold but i really like the design of it i think it's really unique as i said i haven't seen anything like this before so i do like the pin the fourth one says custom made little coffin ribbon bookmarks so these were like the coffin bookmarks i will be keeping the silver one and probably selling the gold one just because they're the same and i don't feel like i need two of them but i do like them as an item and i like that they're coffin shaped as well the fifth item says mini solitary or solitary society felt flag which was this one i do really like this i'll have to find somewhere to put it <laughs> but i do like that one and then the sixth one is haunted mug cake recipe card grave digger spoon and spooky mix sprinkles so that was the recipe card set from earlier that i've just lost <laughs> so it does come with sprinkles and then there is the grave digger spoon so this again isn't a custom item um, i didn't think so because it does have like a code on the back of the spoon and it doesn't say it's by them i still think this is a good item i will definitely use it the last thing it says spooky box candy choice of the month suitable for vegans so that will be the lollipop so overall i'm really actually pleased with this box i'm really glad i pre-ordered it i'd say my favorite item is definitely the blanket but there's nothing here that i look at and i think oh that will just be hidden away in a drawer for ages so that's always a good sign as i said i'm really glad there's no earrings because i don't have my ears pierced and there's no hair accessories because usually i can't wear them so i think all of these really fit the theme really well and the quality of them seems really really nice i'm definitely impressed by that blanket overall really really impressed with this box um as i said i can see myself getting a lot of use out of everything and also with the recipe it's quite good because a lot of people are in lockdown and stuck in doors so it gives people something to do as well so yeah that is if i can not drop it <laughs> so that is everything in the spooky and cozy box definitely like 
right up my street. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you pre-ordered this box and if you did, what did you think? Like this video if you did enjoy it and don't forget to press the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload and as I said at the very beginning, please do subscribe if you like unboxings and small business videos and all of that and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!